Today we're going to read Stuck by Oliver Jeffers. What color is this book cover? What color is it? Is it purple? Mm -mm. Is it red? No. It's green. And what do you see in the book cover? I see a little boy and a tree. I see branches in this tree and green leaves. And obviously, the tree trunk. Let's read the book. It all began when Floyd, this little boy, got his kite stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. Oh dear. The trouble really began when he threw his favorite shoe to knock down the kite loose. And that got stuck too. Then he threw up his other shoe to knock down his favorite shoe and unbelievably that got stuck as well. Now he has both his shoes and his kite stuck in the tree. In order to knock down his other shoe, Floyd fetched Mitch. Mitch is a cat. Cats get stuck in trees all the time. But this was getting ridiculous. Floyd then fetched a ladder. He was going to sort this once and for all. Maybe Floyd is going to climb up to the tree. Let's see. And up he threw it. I'm sure you can guess what happened next. The ladder got stuck in the tree. The ladder was borrowed from a neighbor and would definitely need to be put back before anyone noticed. And in order to do so, Floyd flung a bucket of paint at it. A bucket of paint. What color paint? Pink color paint. And wouldn't you know, the bucket of paint got stuck. Then, Floyd was getting really angry. What did he do? I don't know. Let's see. He threw a duck to knock down the bucket of paint, a chair to knock down the duck, his friend's bicycle to knock down the chair, the kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle, their front door to knock down the kitchen sink, the family car to knock down their front door, the milkman to knock down their family car, an orangutan to knock down the milkman who surely had somewhere else to be. This is great. A small boat to knock down the orangutan, a big boat to knock down the small boat, a rhinoceros to knock down the big boat, a long distance lorry to knock down the rhinoceros, the house across the street to knock down the long distance lorry, a lighthouse to knock down the house no longer across the street. A curious whale in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. Poor whale. And they all got stuck in the tree. Look at that. We have the lighthouse, the whale, 
the long distance lorry, the big boat, the small boat, Floyd's front door, the ladder, the orangutan. Oh no, everything is stuck in the tree. A fire engine was passing and heard all the commotion. The firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. Can we help at all? asked the fireman. And up they went. First the fire engine, followed by the firemen, one by one, look at Floyd throwing them up towards the tree. And there they stayed, stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. Firemen would definitely be noticed missing, and Floyd knew he'd be in big trouble. Then he had an idea, a bright, bright idea. And he went to find a saw. Let's see if Floyd's idea works this time. He lined it up as best as he could. He lined up the saw and hurled it up the tree. Okay, let's see what happens. And that was it. There was no more room left in the tree and the kite came unstuck. Boop! The kite fell down. Floyd was delighted. He had forgotten all about his kite and put it to use immediately, enjoying the rest of his day very much. But, mm -mm -mm. that night, Floyd fell asleep exhausted. Though before he did, he could have sworn that there was something he was forgetting. What did Floyd forget? Everything stuck in the tree. Oh no, poor rhinoceros, poor orangutan, poor firemen, they're all stuck in the tree. The end. I hope you like the story. Bye.